My life has certainly been interesting so far. I was born almost 40 years ago to the day in Canton. That year was 1890, and my mother, Caroline, named me Magnolia for the beautiful trees that grow all around these parts. I have six brothers, and my parents were farmers. My brother Robert purchased the land and built the house we live in now in Woodstock. He works as a porter and butler at the Hotel Canton, which is right next to the county courthouse. My brother Alvin served with the American Expeditionary Forces during and after the Great War. He was stationed in New Jersey at Camp Marriott and also in France. The Lord protected him from harm during his service and he was returned to us. The Lord also blessed me with the opportunity to attend Spelman Seminary in Atlanta. Spelman is a college for black girls in Atlanta. I made many friends while attending school and still to this day exchange letters with them. I teach at the black school here in Woodstock. There is also a separate school for white children and a separate high school in Canton. There is also a separate section in Woodstock where blacks live and we have separate parks and bathrooms. People think me a strict teacher. However, my students have let me know that all of their hard work in my classes is or was worth it. Woodstock has changed quite a bit since we first moved here. It has grown considerably. They just paved Main Street a year ago, and there are many shops, a drugstore, and beautiful houses. Dean's Drug Store was started in 1906, and the Bank of Woodstock was started in 1905. Dean sells everything from medicines to kerosene to Coca-Cola. The largest general store in town is the J.H. Johnston store, where they sell dry goods, groceries, hardware, and other things. The train depot along Main Street is a hub for people, and it's interesting to see who's coming to town. Many people like to wait near the depot when the train is due just to see who's coming and going. The young people in town also play baseball, and they are talking about starting up a ball team to travel around and play other teams. The men also go hunting in the Thousand Acre Wood west of town. I attend church at Mount Olive Baptist. It was started in 1866, and Reverend William Thomas was the first pastor. Mr. W. H. Dean and other Enon church members helped organize the church. The church has grown, and we have bought more land to expand. I also sell insurance in addition to teaching, in order to support my mother and to take care of the house. The stock market crashed just this past year, and it has affected almost the whole country, especially the cotton industry, where the boll weevil has already done so much damage. People have turned to raising and selling chickens in order to make money. Some folks take the chickens into Atlanta to sell them. I enjoy my life greatly and exchange letters with my friends all over the United States. I know that we will pull together through these hard times, and I look forward to a better future.